So today I thought I'd build a kit that I've sort of kit I've never really built before. Uh, it's entirely 3D printed. Um, this comes courtesy of a selection of kits from English Model Railways. This one is its footbridge. Um, it's a relatively newcomer to the railway market, uh, but all of its kits are 3D printed. And I have to admit that I've never built a 3D printed kit before. So this is going to be quite interesting, a bit of a challenge, I think. Um, inside the box come, of course, instructions. Uh, one side is in Dutch because this is a Dutch company that produces the kit. The other side, of course, it's all in English. Also included with the kit is another instruction sheet, 12 steps in total to follow, all pretty straightforward. And included also are some dimensions which give you a rough indication of the height of your platform on which this uh, footbridge should, uh, should be sighted to avoid hitting anything that passes underneath it. So, two bags in total, let's just get them out. Now, 3D printing, granted, isn't a cheap um, production method. It's great for, for small, short runs, but uh, this kit works out roughly, including postage from the Netherlands, at about £25, and that's before you've assembled and painted it. So, something to bear in mind, it will give a variety on your layout, granted, because you won't see many of these around in the country. All we need to do is cut them out, stick them together, a little bit of cleaning up, and uh, fingers crossed, we should have one ready to plant footbridge. Okay, so that's the last of the parts cut out. But there's one important thing when you're cutting out parts on this kit, and that is uh, not to damage part of the sprue. And that's because, as I found out in the instructions reading further on, you actually need part of the sprue to help align um, some of the steps on the footbridge, just acting as a bit of a jig there. So I'm going to clean them up now with some sanding stick. I'm going to use the, um, the 100 on it, and then once I've taken off the worst, of course, there's now quite a few scratches on it. You can then work your way down to the sort of 600 grit. And that not only gets rid of some of the flash, but also will reduce the amount of um, 3D printed um, styrations that you see there. According to the instructions, it recommends that we start with um, what appears to be a support on the underside of the footbridge. So that will be this bit here. I'm going to perform all of the assembly of the footbridge with some super glue. So let's start off one end. Tiny amount, just work it along there, and then into place. Just set that aside for a second. So these two bits of the sprue, you can see, fit over each other, uh, and we can just fit these bits of sprue into it at the same time, and that will just act as a bit of a key to be able to guide some of the steps into place. Just apply a bit of glue to each of these steps, uh, one side only for the time being. Uh, quite a generous amount. With that done, I'm just going to put that to one side to dry. Uh, here's one I did earlier. You can see the glue's gone off and, uh, well, it all looks pretty square to me. Okay, so the next step is to do the same for the span, so I'm just going to glue that into place as well. And then we'll catch up and uh, add the sides to this and see how it starts to look as it takes shape. Okay, so the steps are now into place. I'm just going to glue this uh, span uh, onto the footbridge as well. So let's just apply a generous amount of glue down the side. There we go. So the more parts we add to this structure, the more solid it becomes. But just check back every once in a while to make sure that as you add bits, you don't push others out of alignment. So that's okay. I've roughened up the sides here as well, so they're all ready to take glue, um, and that's where these little sides come into play. Um, it's just one print, the, the entire side, so there's a, well, there's a decent amount of, uh, of lattice work there that's been saved if you were to scratch build this. So uh, let's glue these into place. Now, we don't want to apply too much glue here because if we apply too much, it's just going to ooze out and uh, start filling in some of the little holes in the lattice work. So uh, just be careful with that. There we go, starting to look a little bit more like a footbridge. So, so I'm just going to put that to one side for a second. Okay, so we're going to repeat the same procedure now with the, uh, the sides of the footbridge. So tiny bit of glue. Thank you. 
I mean, the good thing about a kit like this is that you really don't need many tools. All I'm using here is super glue, some sanding sticks, and uh, and a Stanley knife. So um, it's it's one for definitely one for the beginner. If you're looking to progress from a card kit and you want to have a go at building your first plastic kit, this is certainly a good candidate for that. Okay, so those are the side steps for one side in place. Uh, this is our little support for the bridge. So this, according to the instructions, glues into place like so. So I'm just going to go ahead now and uh, glue that into place. So we're going to apply a generous amount of glue on here, just to uh, sort of fill any irregularities in the kit. Okay, so we're going to put that to one side just to set, and we'll do the same thing on the other side and then come back and have a look at it all. So just aligning these last bits into shape with a bit of glue, and um, yeah, I think we're pretty much there with the uh, with the footbridge. Now, granted, this isn't going to have the finesse or the level of detail that you'll get with uh, an etch brass equivalent, um, but as far as 3D printed kits go, um, and it's also the first that I've put together, um, yeah, it does the job. I mean, there are some bits that I'd perhaps design differently uh, to make part fitment better, and I think there are also some parts that have been um, laminated, perhaps unnecessarily, where they could have been designed as just one part and then built up the steps and the sides of them, for instance. I think there is one thing though that I'm going to do with this, uh, this kit before I start painting it, and that's to give it a very good coat of filler primer. Now, filler primer is a little bit different to your standard uh, primer for kits in that it is a bit thicker and therefore will give a good coat to all of these uh, bits that have been 3D printed and will hide some of the gaps as well at the same time. Once that's done, I think I'll just give it a good go over with the sanding stick just to flatten some of the sides, uh, make sure that everything looks okay. Um, I think the main problem when building this kit is probably to make sure that everything's square. As far as kits go, if you fancy having a go at a 3D printed kit, check out englishmodelrailways.shop for, uh, for it to the details. And uh, if it's not a footbridge you're after for your layout, it could be a box girder bridge, you name it, there's more being added to that website every passing month. So uh, check them out and uh, have a go for yourselves.